Go ahead. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about also Harvey Weinstein. I know that's a Hollywood subject, but it is uh, all over the uh, media and a lot of new stories are coming out. Kind of, um, I'm going to go into detail about that, and then I'm also going to be talking about uh, also Channing Tatum, um, what he chose to do about the production going on with the movie and incorporated with the Lion King company. And then I'm going to talk about the other famous people that have been accused of uh, sexual misconduct. And I'm going to lead into the hashtag Me Too. And then I'm going to close it off um, with uh, like how this is a recurring problem and how I think that um, this might be able to be resolved now. And But first I'm going to start off with a video from Seth MacFarlane. And let's go to that video. Silver Linings Playbook, Helen Hunt in The Sessions, and Amy Adams in The Master. Congratulations, you five ladies no longer have to pretend to be attracted to Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Zinger. Wow. Okay, so. <laughs> Look at her um, face, she's in tears now. <laughs> Okay, so that was actually at the Oscars um, in 2013, and um, it actually really breaks my heart that uh, this, it, like, you know, something was said in 2013 by Seth, Seth MacFarlane, and nobody did anything about it. You know, like, women were too scared to, and afraid of what would happen to them, for, like, you know, from coming forward. So um, this brings me to um, more about Harvey Weinstein. So he's actually um, been, uh, it's been told, and uh, rumors have been spread that he's been sexually um, harassing and assaulting women for the, um, over decades. Um, and that, you know, um, kind of relates to the video with Seth MacFarlane, because if that was set in 2013, how long has it been really going on, right? And uh, more than 50 people, um, 50 women have came forward with these accusations so far. And he's denying all these accusations, and board members are refusing to say what actually went on. And I think that they knew what went on, but they just did, were too scared to say something. And that breaks my heart, it really does. And um, now Weinstein is expelled from the Academy of Motion, Pictures, and Arts and Science. So I think that's good. I think justice needs to be served. And this brings me to Channing Tatum. So he actually did halt the production with the Weinstein uh, production, and this is actually a tweet he uh, stated that the women coming forward are heroes. And that just leaves such an everlasting impact because, you know, a famous person like him to state that, and there has been many famous people coming forward and saying that these people are heroes, like, good job for what you're doing. So I thought that was really good. And uh, it's good to, you know, um, do that. Um, and after the Weinstein scandal, um, more famous people are coming, um, you know, are coming into the light now, and they're being accused of sexual harassment um, against others. And some of those being um, Mark Mark Harflin, and uh, I think I'm saying his name right. And uh, he is an American author, and he is a senior political analyst. And uh, also um, Kevin Spacey is another one, and he's an American actor, film director, producer, and screenwriter. And also James Toback, um, and he's an American screenwriter and film director. And um, now this leads me to um, into my speech of, okay, um, why do you guys, why do you think that it took so long for a woman to come forward with this? Well, I think that it was because he had so much power over, you know, over the industry, and like he's making these women feel like it's okay, and like they should be ashamed, you know, and that's that that's so messed up in so many ways, but he is so powerful that he, and all these other guys too, they don't want to ruin their career. You know, they don't want to be like looked down on and stuff. So then this brings me to the hashtag me too. And actually um, this hashtag was um, created more than a decade ago by uh, Ter Terana Burke to support people that have been sexually abused, but not until about a week ago, um, uh, the hashtag me too um, blew up all over Twitter by um, Alicia Morano, and she encouraged women to speak out and come forward with the uh, victims of sexual harassment. 
and not only people with the Weinstein um, uh, scandal that's going on, but people that have been, you know, victims of this. And the hashtag was tweeted more than 500,000 times by October 16th, 2017, which is incredible. And on Facebook, the hashtag has been used more than 4.7 million times and 12 million posts on social media during the first 24 hours. That is making an everlasting impact and it warms my heart and I think it should have been done a long time ago. And it sucks that it had to take something this big for this to shine such a light. And so um, this leads me to the end of the speech, like this happens more than we know. Like, you know, and in the United States, it's believed that somewhere between 15.8 to 35% of sexual assaults are reported to the police. That's it. Like, you know, and now this hashtag is gonna make an impact on today's society and the future society, I think, and I hope, and it is right now. It's, it's showing um, the results. And, um, you know, moving forward, this is gonna, this is bringing people to be honest about what's happening and um, to, to show them to not be ashamed, it's okay. And um, to not, to most importantly, to not feel alone. To feel like they're, you know, they're, like it's okay and that they can come together as a community. And I, I think that's good. So out of the negatives that have happened here, there's at least something positive and I like to always be your glass half full and drink half empty. So thanks guys. <laughs> I always bring cue cards and never use them. They just make me feel better. You're prepped everywhere. <laughs> okay, uh, so that wraps up the speeches.